Hello and welcome back to Nasha's Trends, the number one show on trending news and topics. We are going to talk about Mama Suluhu, the president of Tanzania, and the current state that Kenya is in. You know, about the mandamano and all the protests that are now undergoing. Recently, Mama Suluhu released a statement that is quite concerning, especially for the Kenyan citizen. She stated that they have received an influx of investors who are coming from Kenya and are looking to invest in Tanzania. Uh, investors, <coughs> investors who are being pushed away from continuing to invest in Kenya because of everything that is going on, because of the bandabano, which is rising to uh, the destruction of property. We are seeing these people are no longer opening their businesses as they should. Asema mwezi May na June, tumepokea wawekezaji kiasi ambacho watu jawai kupokea. Wengi mno, na thamani ya miradi liokuja ni hii. Lakini ukitizama, sababu ni nini? Sababu ni kwamba kwa jirani kuna wakamoto. Na mwekezaji hakai kuna kwa wakamoto. Wanakimbia, wanakuja zao, kwenye amani na utulivu. Ni waombe. Tutunze amani na utulivu tuliona. Tunapo tofautiana. Tunapo tofautiana. Tuambiane. Hakuna kisicho semezeka. Tuambiane, suluhu ipatikane. Sio suluhu mie, suluhu yenyewe. <laughs> suluhu ipatikane ili tukai vizuri mambo ya endele. The fear of security, which is raising the fear of mental health and causing pain and harm and injury, the loss of property and so many other things that are quite concerning to Kenya. Now, Baba Suluhu states that there, is, there has been an influx in the number of investors who are seeking to, be, to make investments in Tanzania. That means that's a threat to the Kenyan economy because investors are running away. It raises the question, where are we going to? How are these protests and bandamanos helping us? as Kenyans is are they really necessary or the government and the opposition should sit down and make come up to an agreement because well how is this helping the normal monaichi because the opposition could have the interest of the monaichi at at heart but well are they not causing us more harm because the more protests occur, the destruction of the very Wadaichi and their property is happening. The fear of security is heightening. Post-traumatic stress is going to be inflicted on Kenyans. People are going to suffer harm. People are likely to suffer injury. What is happening? And the economy at large, already we are at a dwindling economy. Things are going down. Businesses are no longer doing as good as they should. The government itself is not doing any better as it had promised. And on top of everything, the protests, now they have been moved to three days a week. That is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We only have two days a week to work, to feel safe, to go to work. To leave the house, what is happening in Kenya? Are we asking ourselves that? Is the government asking itself that? Who are the advisors to our government and to the opposition? I believe there are better ways to do this. I believe there are better ways to solve this other than seeing the destruction of property, other than seeing fear of security students are no longer going to school because of fear parents cannot allow their kids to leave the house where have we placed ourselves as a nation what are your concerns about this please interact with us and you are up to date with the news
Thank you and be safe. Take care.